Yeah, I, I talked to Andres briefly. I was like, Andres, have you been watching it? He's like, no. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's been, been having too much fun. Yeah, I'm mean, like, big time difference, here. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody's been, uh, let's just say, enjoying everything that Mazatlan I mean, has to are, offer. So those are early shots mornings. straight from the from Massa's Beach. So, I mean, everybody is uh, trying to have a nice time right here, but one of these guys is not going to have such an easy time going forward because it is a loser's bracket path for one of them. Smargo, though, as you said, maybe with a bit of a chip of the shoulder, uh, the performance has been, well, stellar for the most part of the year, maybe a bit on the downward trend for just a little bit, but I know that is not where he wants it to stay, so right now gonna try to clear up. Burst is one of the international invited players right here in Siski. Yeah, Siski try. also. Well, one of the one of the guys that tries to prove right, like we well, got top eight at, at Smash Factor. I yeah. arguably you can almost make the case that it's crazy that this set's occurring in top three yeah. too. But Sparto's gonna try and make an example out of Sisti. He's gonna, he's gonna use this Samus and be like, yeah, no, 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 no. There's no denying that I'm the best in the world. But right now, Sparto trying to swing away those limit beams. Dash attack not gonna work twice as Sisti wards him off with a big back air. Sisti again. This matchup is all about how you play around Shark Shot. Exactly. <laughs> is that right, Roy? Exactly, around Bola. Because <laughs> that is going to be coming out. Spargo managing to recover perfectly, saving his resources, and the backer almost closes out, but he's no stranger to going out there. One more hit should do it. Tries for the near. No, Sisky denied him. He knew, he knew what to, to expect, what, to, uh, what was being threatened right there. Dipped underneath the uh, limit blade beam. That backer almost coming in clutch here for Spargo. Ash yeah, trying to hunt for it. Oh, cross slash. Not enough mustard on that one, Roy. Not enough quite yet. I mean, one more solid hit should do it. The dash attacks or even the fair, but no, from Ooh. that parry, the down tilt is enabled and Siski is gonna find the first stock this time around, but the answer is immediate. I told you, the aerials were gonna be coming out. That is the name of the game for Cloud. And without hesitation, Spargo gonna make this an even situation. Yeah, even Steven's coming up right now. I, I do love that Siski's able to like, whip out situation, like, down tilt situations like that because it feels like the move is borderline useless in most other cases. <laughs> able to get the tether to ledge. You gotta be careful when playing around Spargo right there, but Sisti expertly deploying his options here, his bombs, feigning a charge shot, rising the air, coming through. Eats the limit blade beam, though. Our deep guy would be careful with the sword and the stone. Spargo loves going for those down airs in situations, too, in order to make your opponents pay. Okay. Now the charge should yet again gonna be the decider in that situation. <laughs> it combos into everything. Yeah, <laughs> not, not many characters. Yeah, the mid charge is gonna be crazy, but not many characters have a way to challenge that cloud backer from a distance. Well, charge yeah. shot is definitely gonna be an exception to that. Oh, and Sisti meeting Sparta in the skies and saying this is a no-fly zone. Mm -hmm. Big Nair kick. Can you taste Sparta talking? So far? Wow, the interruption. It, this is the, it's been the Spanish Samus on top so far. Charge shot up deep. He caught the roll in. Sisti, he's playing out of his mind right now. I mean, there has been a couple of international upsets in which Spargo has been the player getting upset. And uh, that involved the Samus. So. Yeah, but hold on, hold on that. We're just we're just enjoying some excellent top tier gameplay between two of the best characters. I'm not names calling in the it world. just yet. I'm <laughs> just saying that. I mean, don't dig a grave yet, Spargo. Oh long no, to he might have better than that. Oh, Siski goes out there, forcing Spargo into that position, in which he was not going to be able to recover any longer. I mean, going straight for the charge, and knowing that Spargo still had enabled the wall jump in the bottom part of Pokemon Stadium 2, then trying and having enough height on the, the climb hazard to make it back. But no, Siski is like, he I'm made sure. To yeah, he made sure I'm of trying that. to interrupt that off the rip. And that's, that that is what sometimes the difference is in these games between players at this level. It was just a, an awkward lead situation where maybe Sparto thought he had enough ground beneath his feet to react in time, but instead he found himself with nothing. Very yep. fast, very deep, and Siski was like, oh, I will. I yeah. will take this opportunity to make sure that we're getting a game two in my favor. So. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, like Spargo has uh, definitely, uh, it's not like he has the worst record versus Samus, but he's, uh, he's uh, struggled in the past with that. Not too, too much, I don't want to call it. I mean, like you were saying, right? Like I've been in this game for long enough to, to, to call it earlier. I mean, nine years later of calling the opposite like that, I mean, what can I say, but right, nonetheless. Right. <laughs> If a, oh, Danny, the down tilt trying to convert into fair to banish, uh, banish Siski's first stock, but Siski just have enough guile to get by him. 
FD is a very interesting counter pick. <laughs> you feel I like, like, it. A, like a, a I really hard, like the counter pick. It would, it would hard favor the quintessential zoning R type and Samus, but Sparto unafraid. Basically, going to FD is saying, I think my advantage state is better than yours. I can win as soon as I get one, one neutral win. And I, I honestly think that it just makes the Samus' approach so much linear that you're able to close the distance. Cloud is a fast character as well, able to approach from the air, no longer to, oh! to <laughs> worry about that with platforms around. Like I said, this may seem counterintuitive, but I think that actually, if given the, the proper position, the proper planning, uh, FD versus projector or tribe side characters can work quite a bit. Yeah, that that roll behind up smash was like the definition of that anime nothing personal kid type <laughs> moment. Sparto taking an early lead here. Maybe thought Sissy oh. was gonna mash Uppy, but you know what? The threat was just enough. And hey, we're talking about some adaptation here. Sparto up two stars. That's the story right now. Wow. What was that? Oh, that was close enough. I thought Sparta was that boost too. I think he took the hit on the um, Samus missile, but it was just you know, just not not enough to get back to ledge. <laughs> Trying to swing, swing away with double fares. When Sparto starts cooking, you start to see the fares come out. So he starts to get a really good idea of where his opponent wants to be. Yeah, More I so than Bear's spacing tool. It's definitely like a hit that Sparto's kind of confident. The way he's playing! Oh my god! Yeah, those those fares are a telltale sign of how his mentality is going right now. I mean, an angry Sparto is definitely a very dangerous Sparto. And also, I mean, but he's not letting anything go Siski's way. And we saw it. He tries to combo. The uppers are immediately coming out. Still a great combo breaker. And now, control fully in the stage. One more hit should do it right there. Is, is Sparky going to fit for the dash deck? Or the aerials? It seems like the aerials are going to be the case right now. Going to continue Climbing on the juggle. Up. And one of the finest jugglers in the game for a recent Spargo gonna show us what's up and gonna send Siski up and straight into an even set. Yeah, up the Buster Swords in chat, everybody. Spargo is your captain. But uh, <laughs> man, uh, just really well done adaptation there from Spargo. Uh, able to uh, part the seas when it came to Sisti's ledge play. Because you almost feel like, uh, to borrow the, the French term, it's a fait accompli when it comes to like Samus' ledge play against a character like Cloud that, let's be real, arguably the worst aspect of the character is the character's linear recovery. But one, Sparto is the best player in the world when it comes to recovering with Cloud. And two, I just don't know if Sisti ever felt really that confident in, game, in that game too. He might have to just take that one for research and... Uh, Turn things I, around I think it was FD. Game three. I, I honestly think it had to do with FD as well. I mean, getting rid of all those mix-ups, like I said, bringing things a bit more linearly. Now this is a, the type of counterplay and counter pick that I was expecting to come out from Siski. Definitely that a dual layer platform would be of great help to the projectiles and to start setting up the traps. What it has it changed it though at the beginning? I don't know if the spark had just been slowed down, but on the air to air, now trying to change. The backers, though, were answered back with charge shot. Let's see if that becomes a factor yet oh, again. Oh, Siski. Trying to chase him Watch off. It. Yeah, yeah Sparto was kind of planning his flag early, but Siski, you know, having the werewolf with all the hang in Ooh. there, double back here. I don't know if he Going might have to stop his jump. Oh, he had to burn limit, but oh, Siski had just enough tools to get back there. Very smart and devious from the Samus main. Oh, no, he ran in and shielded up through up smash, but didn't have the punish in time. Maybe Siski thought he was uh, like a little too soon, trying to just play a little too reactive in that moment. Has to go down deep, Spargo holding court at ledge. Now having to play defense. <laughs> the F-tilt from Sisti pushed him around, Roy. Oh, and gonna get that grab. We've seen Spargo, one of his uh, first instincts whenever he's cornered is to jump. So let's see if Siski, who is so good with those spares, can push him in that oh. regard. But talking about pushing them off, now Spargo. Gonna push Siski off with the dash attack and gonna get himself a, a nifty little lead, but I think at this percent, yeah, exactly. This projectiles are gonna definitely come in Double favor air. of Siski. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yo! I thought Sparto th was like a superhero landing with a full use of limit climb hazard, trying to strike here, threatening with down air. Sparto getting the ledge trap and going. Oh no! Just uh, that was really a good move by Siski. Yeah. yeah, in the in the the uh, mirror match between Siski and Joker. Oh, excellent charge shot out deep. Uh, Sparto was kind of uh, he was on a, on a boat with no sail, so to speak. There's no way to avoid that. Mm -hmm. But in the mirror match between Siski and Joker from Smash Factor, uh, Joker was kind of using a lot of like 
uh, initial jump from ledge to air dodge down to get the wave land stuff in too. So I'm, I'm not surprised to see some of that stuff coming out for Siski when he came to the ledge play the way that Sparta's trying to threaten or microspace and give himself a little bit of a chance. Right now, these two tussling in center stage trying to get one little bit of advantage on one another. And I love how Sisti loves to test jab one or jab one two because he knows that not that everything's going to be true, but does give him some chances. But oh, Sparta was like, all right, enough of that. <laughs> I'm going to dismiss it. Yeah, Siski seems to be playing the level two mix-ups right now where Spargus is staying on level one and coming out on top. Slightly so into percent as well. The limit is online. So this shouldn't take too long for him to close out, but it is going to be only the Blade Beam. The dash attack almost catching that one. Spargo not reacting, maybe going for the read. However, still in the air, it's a tough position to be battling against versus Spargo. If you don't want to count out Rage Charge Shot, <laughs> that was so close. Spargo just able to avoid by the tippy top of those uh, those graphics, but Fair coming out from Siski, forcing Sparta to ledge, and again, Fair once again just catching Sparta just a little bit unprepared, mm. and not enough height, and Siski be able to make more out of this stock. Okay, and managing to avoid invincibility so far, gonna stay by the ledge. Oh, the roll from Semis, maybe not the cleanest in the frame data, but at least the distance was right there. And excellent air dodge to make it back in. And now Siski is the one that pl that's playing the shield game. And Sparta knows that he has to respect that type of option to charge shot. Still got to convert just a bit. Oh, the roll barely ba managing to bail out Sparta from the ledge. But Sparta still can't put the finishing touch on the stock. He's got limit. Ooh. Up air. Falling upper. Smash four. Yeah, he fell out of the multi-hits because no multi-hits oh, work in this game. The but Siski, yeah, just able to get back to the ledge there. The dash attack coming out, has a chance here, Up no point still. blank. Oh, still interrupting him. Just one more chance, I mean, had Siski led right with the uphill right there, that was it for Spargo's stock. The limit, I don't think it would have been charged, but now he has one more chance, he's gonna get to charge it, yep. Gonna recover <laughs> aggressively so. Spargo though already at 124%, even if he manages to take this stock with whatever he may deem, which is gonna well, end up whatever. with tilt. Yeah. Now, <laughs> He still has a ton of ground to cover, and given the percent, it is going to be so much easier for Siski to put him off stage. That is a big hill for Sparko to climb. He has to just keep in mind <gasps> charge shot coming through every time. The bolas are out. Parry, no immediate punish for Siski. Maybe he just thought that Sparko was too safe on landing. And fair, oh, the oh, spacing. Yeah. yeah, he's he's, start, he's he's anticipating the fares from from Siski when he Finishing threatens touch, in the wait, sky. Wait. Still having a chance, Sparka has not given up on this talk and the limit still has like five seconds left, gonna let it rip earlier on. Siski almost letting go of this lead completely. Oh, oh. let's rip off No, B. Sparka still surviving on. at ledge. This is where you don't want to be against Samus, but Sparka managed to charge oh, a course. Nair? Siski, he let him go. Uh, up up top, oh. no, up smash, instead. Sparta still had enough space to jump. It's going to be a grab. Oh! Yeah, I knew he was going to go for the grab, and Sparka knew as well. So, going to roll behind the lead rip on that up smash. And, well, that which was so close is still having a chance to come back. And, well, Sparka definitely took it. That was a heck of a comeback, man. That, the Sparka Beautiful was down comeback. deep. Sisti was, sure. was smothering him so successfully that I just, it just feels like there's a moment of hesitation. Some of it's justified. Sparto is striking ways where he does have the ability to react and at least cover up his whiffs a lot, but it really just feels like there's just some chances that Siski's been passing on, and it's, it's surprising. Nevertheless, game four, and Siski is just an insanely fierce competitor. You cannot count out at all at any point in the set. Oh, for sure. I mean, Sparto already showing, and he is no stranger to comebacks. Uh, one of the marks of the greatest of greatest top players that we have in this game. And Sparkle being no exception to that, trying to make his mark in the story of this game. And working Ew. on this story of this set with Siski as well. <laughs> Once Sparkle gets a hold of where you're drifting, this man is yeah. not scared to go off stage whatsoever. And he has limit. Okay, forget about it. Look at that recovery Wait. as well. Oh, I thought yeah. He drifts back perfectly. So Spargo is clocked in right now. He's in his zone. Spargo just being like, you think the dangerous waters off the coast of Mazatlan are shark infested? Oh, no. <laughs> Sissy just telling sure him, not, go, by the way. Yeah, yeah, go, get, go get a lifeguard. <laughs> yeah. Now, the real sharks are in bracket. They're yeah, in loser side, which exactly. neither player wants to avoid or wants to, wants to avoid tussling with, especially the level of players we have here at the tournament. Fair coming out from Spargo, converting into up air. 
wow. falling back here as well. Sparta is showing every little tip and trick with, with clouds. Damn. Hit, but eating the bola, and then fair from Ledge Siski fighting right back. Siski gonna have to put Sparta off stage, and he has limit to deal with again. Ooh, trying to charge, but the blade beam's gonna go straight through that. So no force match for you, good sir. No force match yet again. And the fairs are coming out, so Siski gonna have to be extra careful of where he leaves Samus on the ground. Mine <gasps> gonna be just oh. enough. A little love cap is all you need sometimes. Yeah, that, that is Cloud's folly. Siski managing to thread the needle with mine from ledge. But uh, Sparta was one strike away. f almost enough to banish Siski's stock. Back here threatening again. Siski just having to hold tight at, at center stage. Wow. Catching the jump into the dash attack, bridging that together. Samus can make so much magic happen out of one stray hit, uh, but not like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, expecting an offensive option, getting an offensive one instead. Sparko going to bring this into a last stock situation. And it's been dire here for Siski. Fighting from behind, he has to find <gasps> a way to bring this. Or sorry, I'm dire for Sp Sparko. Finding the dash attack coming through. No nares nice. as well. I like it. Retreating to the platform, finding a safe haven, but Spargo, no stranger to racking up percent like Wait. this. The tether is gone. Hold. Yeah, the air dodge had to be a recovery from up top now. Uh, options enabled yet again, but that cloud's still glowing blue. Oh, <laughs> perfect spot dodge <laughs> to avoid that blade beam and Siski. Gonna find a downer into the very, very strong back air. Yeah, he tiptoed him. He, got, he kicked his kicks. Yep. The back air <laughs> landed right at Cloud's feet. Despite Sparrow's attempt to try to DI out and avoid his fate, he couldn't at the end of the day. It all went Sisti's way. We got ourselves a pivotal game five. Oh, man. This is what I was expecting from this set, and they are delivering on that end. I mean, Sparko and Siski showing up hot and cold, taking turns pretty much yeah. to show each other what's up. Spargo going to end up dropping that one, even after managing to get that uh, splendid comeback. But the fact that Siski was able to still convincingly take this last stock situation, I think it really goes to show that at least the confidence is right there, though, because, of course, uh, the mentality has to be on point, on check every single time that you are uh, going into the sticks for every match. And, well, Siski, even in spite of that big of a hurdle with uh, the combat that Spark managed to do in game number three, nonetheless, is going to deliver and bring us into a game number five. Yeah, the stakes are high. Winners, what? you know, top 16 is up for these players, and they have expectations that they're trying to meet. Battlefield is going to be where we're going to go and instead give both players a chance to charge up a little bit and get ready to tussle. Bombs out. Oh, another bomb drop. Siski not necessarily going that far off ledge with the bombs this time around. Wow, Siski. Bola to the face. Not oh. a chance. Not a single chance. Siski, not the bola. But uh, really, the uphill that is going to do it. Sparko having quite a bit of terrain to cover for again. And this is game number five, bro. That heal is loaded the way that... Uh, Sisky unloaded on on Spargo. Oh yeah, Spargo having needs to figure out a way to get back into this one. Sisky, yeah, more than comfortable just sitting back and charging, charge uh, underneath that plat. Mm. Samus has loved to make themselves a home right there, Roy. Trying to sky with the retreating there, but instead Spargo forcing the issue, forcing Sisky's hand. With dash attack, no sword in the stone dare. Instead oh. he's going to eat the punish, avoids the charge shot. The up tilt going through up airs. He's got Sisky in the juggle situation, Roy. Blade beam. Let's see if it comes out or not. Oh, what a reaction there from Spargo and waiting for the perfect opportunity to shield. The shield is such a crucial tool here versus Samus. Waiting around for the aggressive option. Sisky is so well known for using those spares from the ledge and chasing him out with the dash attack. Spargo still, though, even stucks right here, but a little bit of ground to cover. I was surprised the up smash didn't kill, but I remember we're on Battlefield with a higher blast zone up, up top. Just tough stuff here for uh, for Spargo. Now what? Back throw, he he got that grab! Got mine? Oh, this is No hit! That would have been huge! That would have been so incredibly huge for Siski. Putting him off stage like that, now instead Spargo is going to get his advantage state going. He's trying to put Siski on the back heel, Siski. Reverse the situation. Uppy, up air. Can Sparta land? He, oh, he, he oh, made a landing. What? So close right now. Oh, look at the defense, the slow playing from Siski. 
He's confident. The Nair out deep. Spargo, he's in no man's land. Gotta be careful where he goes. Oh, he what? just diffused the charge the shot with the tippy toe of down tilt. That was so clutch from Spargo. He would have been dead. Wow, and the low profile could have helped him as well, but nonetheless, Siski, I think he was already tasting the last. Oh, Spargo no, he went wide low. Expertly uh, maneuvered there by Siski. Not falling prey to Spargo's best efforts, but on stage is an entirely different story now. We oh. do have an advantage for Mexico's finest. That up smash is so shambly, oh, but Sisky firing right back. Sparta getting called up for the jump. You, you have to respect Samus back here, even in situations like that where Samus still has the you know, eye frames to go. And now these two even see Oh, the tour oh. shot! Oh, down her call out! Oh, smash! Not stopped. Oh, no. Sisky might have found the you thread feel he needs. Can you back feel here. it? La bola. Uh, Spargo is just spreading back. Fares coming out. Oh my Spargo's god! Spargo's feeling confident. Triple Fares! Not the spike, no! Oh no, he missed the tether! Oh no, he did the two frame on down. down. This is so clutch! Yeah, Spargo almost makes him pay for that specific situation. Oh my lord! And the conversion here from Siski to 1 2. Down smash? What was that? Was he trying to drop from the platform? I don't know. And Spargo still punishing him on that quite even percent. But oh, limit. His, my man's is glowing blue. Can Sissy get back? Oh, Ooh, what? The trailing hitbox. Oh, God, the big break chance. play. Sissy has a chance here. Can he seize the day? Fair from Ooh, ledge. No, nice the limit. Beam. And oh, no opportunity no. there. The mine is going to hit. No. Sissy had a chance to close <laughs> it up right there from the ledge. But there is not going to deliver. Spargo is so well known for landing oh. like that. The charge shot in the air. Spargo, Spargo looked death in the face. Sissy threatening. No, no bola. Oh, Lord. It's fair. Is it yeah, strong enough? Surviving no, he way. lived. He Oh my Spargo, gosh. Oh my lord. If he does. A beat up the if top. Finds and a way Sisky, to not enough. If he does. That's way to do it. And he will find a way to do it right there. Spargo waiting for forever. Siski had like 10 chances in a row to close that one out. But no dice. It is all about Spargo now after that game number five. Yeah, hunting him Ooh. down with the clutch dash tech. They're out of desperation. And these two competitors give themselves. A nice pat on the back, nice hug, as they deserve it. Two of the best, two fierce competitors. It's all about the sportsmanship. We'd love to see it. And oh. Spargo just able to inch by Sisti. And that's top 32 action, Roy. We're only in top 32. And we're seeing oh, man. absolutely down to the wire sets between titans of the game like Spargo and Sisti. Um, but I, I would not bet, I would not bet against Sisti saying that he's gonna drown in losers man that that dude he has an insane mentality insane metal to like go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Spargo like that and it's just I I can't believe the uppy nor the charge shot I, did it I, or, or the, if it was Nair towards the end I can't believe he didn't get the kill on either of those I mean he had quite a few chances to 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 get it done and to say the least I think I don't know if it's a bit of jitters or maybe just playing it extra careful to make sure no traits around no mistakes but uh, ends up uh, giving away the game at the, la at the very last second. I mean, that dash deck, quite a Hail Mary working out in favor of Cloud right there. I mean, Spargo waited for forever for an opportunity to actually close it out, and he got it. I mean, the yeah. recoveries as well, insane. The, it all the, works. the way that he <laughs> made it happen, like uh, the little recoveries with the cross lash as well, everything, Spargo.